I'm on the line with Mr. Su Juan Chi. He's the opposition leader uh, in Singapore, and the president is scheduled to visit uh, Singapore sometime in the next few days. And uh, November 13th through 15th is when he will be meeting uh, with uh, with officials in Singapore. Mr. Sun Juan Chi, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what the opposition consists of in Singapore? Well, you know, basically Singapore is not a democracy, so we hardly have an opposition uh, um, in in Parliament. So we're just trying to even survive here in Singapore with all that's been going on, all the laws that we have here. Um, that, that, you know, the opposition is just is lucky to, to to be able to survive. For example, we've got the Internal Security Act, which, Act, which allows the government to detain citizens um, without trial on an indefinite basis. And we have had a, a, a political um, prisoner for um, longer than Nelson Mandela was um, was in prison. He, the Singapore, uh, his name is Chia Tai Po, the Singaporean opposition uh, member of parliament, who was in prison without trial for 32 years. Wow, 32 years. Has he ever had any visitors? Well, he, he, he's had a, a, a couple towards the end, uh, and he was only released uh, a few years ago. So you can imagine the kind of situation that we're in. And we also have just a recent um, law that was passed um, a few months ago, uh, specifically for this, this uh, meeting that Mr. Obama is going to attend, which is the uh, Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Meeting. And this law stipulates that not even one person is allowed to conduct a, a protest, a, a peaceful protest. So uh, this is the extent that the Singapore government has gone to uh, um, in terms of curtailing the um, civil liberties and, and, and political rights of, of uh, the people here. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I was, uh, I'm actually in uh, in India as I'm interviewing you uh, right now, and uh, one of my hosts is a very well known and very well connected uh, business member here, uh, and has traveled all over the world. Uh, in fact, we we also just got back from Bhutan, uh, and he was hearing me talk about the fact that I was going to be doing this interview with you, and uh, said to me that. Uh, uh, that it was not any kind of democratic situation, that uh, that this was controlled by one family uh, and, and, and other uh, wealthy members uh, of the upper class, and that, uh, that anybody who tried to do any opposition uh, was completely and totally disregarded or jailed. Yes, and not just in prison. I mean, I've, I'm facing more. My colleagues and I face multiple charges uh, of, of for just spe- for speaking in, in public without a permit, for even um, distributing flyers, for example. Um, and I've been imprisoned um, on seven different occasions already, simply for taking part in, in um, small little peaceful protests here in Singapore. And apart from these um, prosecutions, uh, we are also. Uh, I've also been sued repeatedly. And uh, for defamation uh, by um, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew himself, uh, he, he is the, the paramount leader in Singapore. And uh, because of these lawsuits, I've been ordered by the courts to pay hundreds of thousands of, of dollars in, in damages to the, the plaintiffs. Uh, I've, I've sold off everything, my house and car and so on, just to make good the payment. And in the more recent suits, I've been unable to pay them uh, the amounts, and uh, as a result, I've been declared bankrupt. And because of this bankruptcy, you now I'm leaving the country. For elections. Um, I mean, have you thought of leaving the country? No, no. I mean, uh, I'm certainly not, because to leave the country would mean that uh, they win, and if they win, the people lose. So I'm determined to stay on it and, and see it out, and continue this, this struggle for democracy. Now, one of the, your concerns uh, is that President Obama has not addressed the human rights issue in Singapore. Uh, and uh, I certainly have experienced this recently with him not agreeing to see the Dalai Lama till after he got uh, to China, and many of us in the United States feel that he is doing this because the United States has, you know, it's a business reason. The United States holds a billion dollars worth of our, a trillion dollars worth of our debt, uh, gets T with a trillion, uh, or trillion with a T, 
and that also there is a, a big, uh, you know, problem in terms of just business comes first before human rights. What's, what's your view on that? Well, it is very disappointing that, that uh, um, uh, President Obama is as myopic as he is, because if you look at the situation, um, democracy makes good economic and business sense. Because if you're talking about business, if you're talking about the, uh, the way that trade should be, um, shouldn't we be really talking about uh, more transparency and accountability, especially um, since what, what happened in the last uh, uh, year uh, where the, the financial crisis um, came about, essentially because there was so little oversight and transparency in the financial world. So I, I don't understand when, when people try to bifurcate the uh, trade um, and business from from. Um, democracy, which really uh, embodies um, trans- uh, transparency and accountability as well and openness. So uh, uh, if, if you're talking of really wanting to be pragmatic and hard-nosed about uh, um, business, you would, not, you would not try to separate um, the, the openness, uh, um, which really is, is um, well, applying democratic principles to business. So it's just not, uh, doesn't, doesn't make sense at all, because Political rights and economic rights are both are two sides of the same coin. What would you like Americans to know um, about what is happening uh, with Obama's visit, um, and what should they do? That it's a shame that the U.S. president uh, would come to a place like in Singapore and just continue to um, extol the virtues of doing trade and, and basically... Um, speaking up for the multinationals uh, and and not really taking into consideration the rights of the people that America uh, goes to 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 do business um, with, and uh, and as a result of, of this this unwillingness to talk about um, political rights, human rights, um, the people in these Asian countries um, are exploited and they suffer, and and you know Singaporeans are. Uh, Wages are depressed, and, and they make as little as what um, six thousand dollars annually, um, U.S. dollars. And Singapore is just as expensive as any big city in, in the U.S. New York, Chicago. So you're really talking about an exploitation here that, that needs to be addressed. And, and for all of, of President Obama's um, talk about uh, um, human rights, I think it's important that he he addresses some of these issues in the countries that he visits. I would certainly agree with you. Suju um, uh, Chi, uh, do you have a website that people can go to, uh, or does the opposition have a website where people can find out more information? Yes, please. Please visit our website at yoursdp.org, Y-O-U-R-S-D-P.org. Well, thank you very much, and hopefully you'll give us an update perhaps after his visit. We really appreciate it. I will. Thank you so much for having me on. Thank you.